enough of that. So, you're finally awake. That's not Impa. It has been quite a long time, Link. Impa's a hundred years old! That's not Impa. That's not Impa. That's... No, that's like Yeju Baba or some fucking shit. That's an imposter, I swear. It's Impa, dude. Look how old she is in this. She looks like Mr. Burns crossed over with a stork. Yeah, she's way shorter. She <laughs> oh. um, I've already died like a hundred times, so I'm willing to risk my life. No problem. No problem. Hey, I got my memories. It's not my fault you don't look any fucking thing like the Impa that we remember. We have our memories. I feel like this is on purpose. That Link is has his memories at this point. Ugh. Yes, of course. <laughs> Yeah, no shit. I'm Link, you bitch. Oh. You old hag, you Yeju Baba. Thank you. This is what I wanted. Yes, here we go. Cutscene. The history of the royal family of Hyrule is also the history of Calamity Ganon. A primal evil that has endured over the ages. This evil has been turned back time and time again by a warrior wielding the soul of a hero and a princess who carries the blood of the goddess. Mm, Lincoln Zelda. With the passage of time, each conflict with Ganon faded into legend. So listen closely as I tell you of this legend that occurred 10,000 years ago. Mm, 1980. Hyrule was then blossoming as a highly advanced civilization. Even the most powerful monsters posed little threat to the denizens of the realm. The people thought it wise to utilize their technological prowess to ensure the safety of the land, should Calamity Ganon ever return. They constructed four mechanical wonders that came to be known as the Divine Beasts. They also built a legion of autonomous weapons called Guardians. The Divine Beasts were piloted by four individuals of exceptional skill from across the land. And thus, the plan to neutralize Ganon was formed. Upon 
Ganon's inevitable return to Hyrule. The princess and the hero fought alongside these four champions against this ancient evil. The guardians were tasked with protecting the hero as the divine beasts unleashed a furious attack upon their terrible And when the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness delivered his final blow, the princess used her sacred power to seal away Calamity Ganon. That was amazing. That was amazing. That was the best Zelda cutscene I've seen in years. Aww. It's simple to the point. Told you straight up what's gonna go down. 10,000 guardians mashing their shit against Ganon. Four big old beasties you gotta fight. And it still managed to seem like an old ass Zelda game. They still have it. Still seems like an old ass Zelda game. Oh. All right, I kind of get all this. Yeah, whatever. This is all uh, nani nani nonsense. We get it. There's bosses. We gotta beat them. I get it. Oh, ill-advised to face Ganon, but possible for speedrunning purposes. Yep. Oh, shit. Hell yeah. Waypoints. Waypoints. That's what I like to see. Give me that, give me that waypoint. Your iPad will tell you where to go. Just open up Google Maps and drop a pin. Look how little of the world. Oh my god. Of course it's not complete. <laughs> uh, I know about that village. I've already been there. Yeah, baby. Look how little of the map I've seen so far. This game is huge. It seems huge. Another quest. Oh my god. This is insane. Another quest! Oh, wait. That quest is completed. Alright, let's look at our map. Holy crap. Look how big this game is. There was like a dot over here. Oh, dang. Alright, so I guess we're going in there next. Destroy Ganon! Should we just try? No, 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 no. I'm not that dumb. I'm not gonna painfully decide to just go to Ganon right away. I know somebody's doing it already. Someone probably has already done it. I'm not gonna be the first person to beat this game, and I don't want to be the first person to beat this game. We're going to ignore Ganon. Although one day I would love to play the game where the first thing I do is beat Ganon. That would be an amazing accomplishment. But not in my first playthrough. That would come at a much later date when I've played the game enough to feel like, hey, you know what I haven't done yet? Beat Ganon with no items. That'll be fucking cool one day. And props to anyone who's already done it. I'm sure it... Um, like, I'm almost sure it's already happened. If, if nobody's beaten the game yet, I'd be very surprised. I bet there's people who've beaten the game twice already. Anyway, I have to go to the bathroom. I'm going to be right back. Uh, this is...
Such a good game. It's hard to put into words. I'm going to keep playing. I'm going to keep playing for a while before I go to bed. But first, I've got to go to the bathroom. So, see you in a bit. Alright, let's keep going. More Zelda. Hell yeah. You got any items for me, Impa? It's kind of annoying that you just sit there doing nothing. It's really sad. You're nothing like the Impa I knew. The Impa I know would kick some ass. Oh, hi, Paya. Uh, yeah, my name is Link. How did you forget that? Hey! Hey, Paya. Paya, stop it with that! Yo, fuck that, Paya. We're gonna do creepy shit, like run around you in circles. What if I slash you with an axe? Calm down. How about you calm down? Nothing I can do, eh? I like the way they handle that. Like, you can't. Obviously, you can't just kill NPCs in this game. But I like that they react! They react to your intention. Oh. Yeah, how about you request that I'm the fucking hero who's gonna save the world? The CDI games. <laughs> Maybe that's intentional, the Zelda 1 manual, anyway. If you, re if you read the Hyrule Historia, Captain Duck, the original Zelda game, the very first game, Legend of Zelda, is set near the end of the timeline. And this game appears to be set a hundred years in the future. So maybe that's... Maybe that's it. Maybe this is set a hundred years after... After, uh... The first Zelda game. Yeah. I'm not gonna read it. Yeah, she even points out that's like, I know you think that you can do whatever you want. Oh my god, do I have to read this? Alright, 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 alright. My wife left me today. Oh my god, no! Oh, game ruined. Don't buy it. Don't buy it. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. It was just one off. It was a one off joke. Oh, oh God. I don't even know what to think of this shit. 
don't, 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 don't do it. Okay. All right, okay, that was fine. Struggling shop girl. I'll bet you this is much better in Japanese. I can almost promise you that all of these various worries make a lot more sense if you read them in the original Japanese. Ah, uh, here we go. Ah, papaya again, yeah. Okay, I am glad I read those. Holy shit, there was something about how it's like, I'm gonna leave, my wife is leaving me. She said, it's either me or the cuckoos. Alright, here we go. Shrines. Oh, too many shrines. Too many shrines to worry about. Let's just go to that blinking dot. Ah, that's too bad. Alright, here we go, sweetie. Listen to me just because I haven't ridden you. There we go. <laughs> Poland is a good idea to play in that game because it's the DLC. So I'd imagine that the bonuses are kind of interesting. I haven't played enough of it yet. You know, I bought Civ 4 for a dollar. Civ 4 and Civ 3 for a dollar. Same, at the same time. And I'm actually more interested in playing Civ 4 again than I am in playing Civ 6. <laughs> and Civ 6 cost me $80. Or whatever it was. I think it, yeah, it was eighty dollars when I bought it new. Civ Four was one damn dollar. Although I bought it twice now, or three times now, if you count the expansion packs. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Can't do that with a horse on my back. On the back of a horse. Is that a Poe? Nah, it's too far away. Let's just go kill it. Ah, oh, it disappeared? No, it's alive.
Damn it! Fuck you! Come on! So dumb that it has two attacks that do a tiny amount of damage, then it does the attack that does all the damage. Screw you! Fuck! If I'd known you were gonna do that, I would've healed! Dumb. Dumb of me not to just stay at full health, I guess. Well, this is why I wanted to attack you from afar, because I don't know what attacks you do, because I've never seen you before. Now I know you do three weak attacks, and then one strong one. So it's like, better heal at a certain point. Ah. Uh... Oh, fuck you, dude. Yeah, that attack. That attack does way a ton of damage compared to anything else. No! What the fuck? God! How? I healed! Jesus shit, this enemy is fucked! It has these random assortments of damaging attacks where it's like you can take half a heart or you can take four hearts. How am I supposed to know? God, you better die now. You are fucking dead now. How did you dare? How dare you? How dare you? Yeah, I'll whistle at you. How about I hit you with fire? I have no arrows left. What the hell? So it, it saved... It saved my fuck up. Where I have no arrows left. Amazing. Oh, you dodging bitch! I hate this enemy now. I fucking can't stand this enemy all of a sudden. You're dead. You're so dead. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. Fuck that shit. You don't even drop an item. You don't even drop an item. You're just there to piss me off and kill me and cost me all of my arrows. All right, you did drop an item. What was the item? I don't see it. God, that sucked, dude. That was a terrible enemy. Where's the item? Fire rod. 
I don't see it. Oh, it's, I can't pick it up, that's why. Well, something's got to go. The eightfold blade's almost dead, so I got to get rid of it. Yeah, fuck that enemy. I can't believe how much, how badly it, it damaged me.